I'm Jess and welcome to Jess Science, science for everyone. Today we are going to be doing some kitchen chemistry. To do this you're going to need a red cabbage. So step one is to chop up or tear your red cabbage into pieces. I used about half of one and then put it into a container like a teapot here and add some boiling water nice and carefully. Watch out, it is going to smell a little bit. Ugh. And then wait for it to cool down. Give it a few hours, leave it overnight, however you want. What we're going to be doing is making something called an indicator. Now the red cabbage, the pigment in it, acts as the indicator. It's going to change color based on the properties of certain things. So let's take a look. Now I have here some glasses with some cabbage juice poured into it. And so this is just the water and the cabbage juice, and it's kind of this bluey purple type color. I'll line up all my glasses here. There we are. Now the pigment in the red cabbage, it indicates whether something's acidic or basic or in the middle. It's a whole spectrum. You can have something that's really acidic or really basic or somewhere in the middle. And our tap water is somewhere kind of in the middle. So by adding some things to it, you can see what color it changes. We'll start with some orange juice. So I'll add a little bit of orange juice here. Here we are. <laughs> it changed right away to that kind of pink color. Amazing. So I'll give it a stir, mix it in there. And it didn't turn pink because orange juice is orange. It turned pink because orange juice is slightly acidic. And the pigment of the red cabbage changes to that kind of pink color when something acidic is added. Now for our baking soda. Is it gonna be like the orange juice? Is it gonna change a similar color? Let's find out. I'll add some baking soda to this next one here. A little bit more and give it a stir. Ooh. <laughs> so it's not changing pink at all. In fact, it's more kind of blue. So we'll add it to this side of our water. There we go. All right, we've already seen something acidic and then something basic. Let's try another one out. This is gonna be some vinegar here. So nice and carefully add some vinegar. There we go. And <laughs> it is that pink part there. So it would be more on this side. Now our last one we're going to add is the fairy liquid. We'll find out another pink one maybe, or like water or more along the lines of our baking soda. So we'll add some of our fairy liquid here, and it is green, but we're just adding a little bit. So the color change that we'll get, if we get one, is gonna be due more to the reaction with the pigment in the red cabbage. All right. And it is definitely falling more along that side of it. There we are. So by using a few things from around the house, we're able to get this beautiful spectrum and see where things lie. You can try out other things you have, but check with your parents first to make sure it's safe for you to use. Make a prediction before you add it. Where do you think it's going to lie? I'm going to leave you to find out. That's been Jess Science. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>